Well, y'all, I'm over here with News Now Patrick over here at the uh, Wiley, Texas Police Department. You can see they got somebody stopped or something's going on over there. I don't know what it is. But anyway, uh, we, uh, we stopped at this stop sign to figure out whether we're going left or right or what we need to do to get over here. And there was a police officer getting ready to come out of that gate over there. And I guess we scared him because he turned off his lights and backed up and went and hid or did something. I don't know what he did. But anyway, that's what's going on so far. He's got my license tag covered up for our privacy because we're not operating my private automobile right now. No, we are not. Nope, we're not operating it. We are not operating a motor vehicle. Yep, it's a private, private, whatever you call it. There's their sign. So let me get still where I can see it. Okay. Now, for police assistance, pick up phone. It says entrance. So now I'm entering. Huh? Uh, well, I, this is the old one, right? And you got the new one? Is that is the new one being operated? For the justice of peace and constables. Office so are you in this further notice because of all the hell damage. Okay, I thought you guys were uh, uh, operating out of a little police station. Is it in this building? Oh, is it the one by the park? Oh, okay. I must be thinking something else. Uh, no, I was just curious. How many officers are working tonight? I'm just, I'm working on a story and I need to know. There's seven officers. Do you know their names? Why? But you can tell me how many are working, but you can give me names. But they work for the public, though. They're public employees. Is there a lieutenant on duty? Is there a lieutenant on duty? Can you see? Yeah, that'd be fine. No, I, I, I'm out front. I'm on the side of the facility, you know, where the doors are, where the phone's at. We'll be back shortly. You have a complaint, you have something to report. You're a damn lie. You're a fucking yeah, damn lie. Nobody hid behind no fucking tree. That's a damn lie. What? But he admits an officer pulled a gun on you? Yeah, the guy pulled a gun on me because he said I was hiding behind a fucking tree. I had a flashlight with me so he could see my hands. I had a flashlight in one, a camera in the other. I'm not a threat. I didn't. I didn't get to finish talking to him. He he got mad at you and took off. Well, because he don't want to be held accountable. He wants to run like a little bitch. But I mean, he was asking if if we're complainants. I said I I'm not, I'm not a complainant. And he started talking to you, and then you made him mad, and he and he he because well, and, and you was asking why why a cop pulled a gun on you. That's yeah. a legitimate question. Well, and the reason he ran off was because he know he knows his his buddy officer did wrong, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to speak about it on camera because he knows the whole situation is fucked up. That would be dead, unjustifiable deadly force against you. So he don't want to be on film probably exactly. admitting that. Well, but, his, but I was standing on the corner by the, damn, by the damn stop sign and his buddy said I was hiding behind a fucking tree. That's a damn lie. Well, there's the alleged tree. I don't... I think you can't hide behind that tree. There ain't enough tree <laughs> that's to hide. That's a little hide. fucking tree. I mean, you'd have to be sideways, and you'd have to get at the... Look guys, that's a little tree, and I was hiding behind it. And you'd, you'd have to get at the right angle. Exactly. But, but, I, but I went like this here, like, you know, to wait a minute. I did want to talk to him, but I was letting you finish your conversation, yeah, being polite, exactly. and let him answer the questions. But he, he got angry. Don't they... So who are we going to talk to, the chief about anger management? <laughs> Most likely, that's I mean, what we got to do. You can't, I mean, I had a question, I had a legitimate yeah. question to ask, actually four or five questions to ask, but he took, he, he took off because he's, he's a little bitch. He got confronted. Yeah, and his, his buddy pulled a gun on me. Well, this guy's a corporal and not the lieutenant, and 
he uh, he basically answered the question truthfully. I didn't t touch the phone. Patrick touched the phone. He was asking questions and various information. And they offered to send a police lieutenant out here just for, for our journalistic purposes. It's the way I understood it. And they didn't send a lieutenant. They sent a corporal, which is two ranks down. And uh, that's... Usually you got to be a sergeant even to be a field supervisor. Now they do have OICs that are master peace officers that's in charge of that particular shift. But I'm telling you, that's that's just that's bad. Uh, to think, in 1987 they tried to recruit me to come over here, but they was kind of decent back then. It's to think that. I, I could have actually come here and it would wind up like this. I'd be ashamed. I mean, golly. Well, I guess when you get caught with your hand in the cookie jar and your pants down around your ankle and your officer's pulling guns on people, committing serious felony crimes, you don't want to get, be caught on tape admitting exactly. to it. You got to come up with an excuse to justify your unlawful actions. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you where this I'm is going. very sad. Well, anyway. I'm going to say uh, Wiley Police, because this is the face of Wiley Police till I see otherwise, the Wiley Texas Police have failed the First Amendment audit. I would, uh, I'm going to try and call the uh, Chief of Police and talk to him about his corporal. Of course, he'll probably have some, something to say, something to say. So if he had an excuse about pulling the gun on Patrick, He'll probably have some excuse why he walked off without giving me an opportunity to talk. He'll say, well, I asked him if he had a complaint. And I said, no, I don't have a complaint. That don't mean I don't have conversation. I just didn't have a complaint. Then he tried to qualify that a complaint is a general term for meeting somebody. I've never heard of meet the complainant on, on answering some journalistic questions or general information questions. We used to call that aid a citizen not meet the complainant. We didn't have a complaint. We wasn't the victim. Uh, Patrick's been the victim by his own testimony in the past of deadly force, unlawful law enforcement, deadly force by Wiley police on him. But I wanted to basically ask him some questions like, what is their estimated arrival time on felony calls and misdemeanors? Legitimate question. Ask him how long he's been employed here. Uh, if he's had other law enforcement employment, what does he think about the city? Is their pay scale equivalent to other agencies in the area? Do you have to just have a high school diploma, GED, or do you have to have a college degree or 20 hours? There was a lot of legitimate questions I had, but I didn't get the opportunity. I think he was going to stay and talk to me. But when Patrick confronted him with a, a question that could jeopardize his job and sent him to prison for aiding and abetting or not stopping a felony act in progress, then uh, I think he got really scared and worried and uh, he wasn't going to give me an opportunity to say anything. He, he knows who he is, but he don't know who I am. He just knows I'm with him. You know, I mean, I could be from the Secret Service or the FBI and uh, come in with him to see if he would admit to it. You know, strange things happen like that. The FBI, Civil Rights Division, have tagged along with people to get the actual violated party to go back to the police and confront the police, and they get them on videotape uh, confessing that they committed crimes. And then the FBI Department of uh, Justice over at the uh, over at the uh, Civil Rights Division will use that to prosecute. And uh, because it's a consensual conversation on the part of the police at that time, and it is the victim talking to him, not the police. So he, he may have thought he was being set up for a state or DPS or a federal investigation. Anyway, that concludes their failure and the failure of Wiley Police based on the face of Wiley Police. But if the chief of police wants to issue a written statement to me and answer my questions and tell me 
that the officer is going to receive some training in anger management and being truthful, then uh, I might come back and, I'd, I definitely would come back and say, well, the chief's corrected it and done the following things. So I have to update you on Wiley Police. Look for an update by middle of next week. Thank you, God bless you. My information's in the information section. Please support me, keep me on the road. Thank you, God bless you.